Frank runs a street group, and he and his group are new to their job in Santa Monica. See, the last group that did what they did, what they were doing, didn't do things right, and uh, they got moved on to other work. What does Frank's group do? Oh, unseen business kind of thing. In fact, they manage other groups moving in and out of Santa Monica. Let me explain. If you come to Santa Monica, at least in the past four and a half years, since I've been working here, you'll notice a lot of different faces from week to week. A lot of uh, unseen business stuff. Lots of folks who look alike. That's unseen business stuff. You don't see about in the news or on TV, movies, do you? But uh, they manage these folks, groups moving in and out. And here's what happens. Uh, groups come in with a Stone Cold impersonator and a whole lot of folks who are around him throughout the day and night in L.A. And, yeah, they do a lot of mean stuff. But the group before Frank's didn't do it right. They didn't do this gesture. Get the one and only Stone Cold, John Melton Brady's money, resources, and uh, uh, high blondes. Or look for ever increasing hell on earth. They didn't do it right, so they are getting the mean stuff done to them. And Frank's group isn't doing anything any better. So he's sitting there, and Sheila comes running in, and she says, "You got to do something about that one and only Stone Cold Melton." He keeps showing up unexpectedly where we're trying to get things done. She means I show up when they're working with their impersonators trying to uh, convince everyone that there is no one and only Stone Cold Melt. Anyway, she says, why can't we just give him the you know money, resources, hot blondes, get him out of our hair? And, you know, that's true, guys. I had all that stuff. I'd be off uh, Malibu, uh, a good hotel somewhere, uh, Beverly Hills, doing what work I have from the top. Why can't we just do that? And uh, Frank goes, oh, it's complicated. No one can see him. And just then, Ernie runs into the room with a laptop, puts it down and says, Frank, you got to see this. It's gas. they got gas. And they look at that video on the laptop, and sure enough, it's Gus. Gus is their impersonator. One of their impersonators of the one, only me. He's getting uh, something removed, a thing or two. And he's on his way to Stone Cold Impersonator Retirement Program. Hell on Earth. But this is being done right by a group other than Frank's. This is being done by Stan. It's being done by ten Stan. Ten stands who look exactly alike. They're driving home the point that this is an unseen business thing. Yet the one and only Stone Cold Melton is money and resources. That's what one of the stands says. So he points the camera out the, video, out the window to the one and only. He says, get the one and only his money and resources. Until then, they've got us, and not just us ten here. Hundreds of us worldwide. They've got us working overtime until you get him, his money resource, until you see hot blondes in his arms, money in his hands, fancy laptops and cameras in his hands. We're going to be doing a lot of this, and they do that street test to God. And back with Frank. He realizes he's got a choice to make, and he's better make it quick. Do things the right way or uh, end up like his predecessor. That's a promise from the one and only. Don't go, don't go.